Zelensky vowed to defend Ukrainians in occupied region as referendum results announce. President Volodymyr Zelensky has said Ukraine will defend its citizens in Russian-occupied region, as the authorities there announced the result of so-called referendums that have already been denounced by the West. This farce in the occupied territory cannot be called an imitation of referendum, Zelensky said on Tuesday in a video post on Telegram. We will act to protect our people, both in Kyrgyzstan region in the Zakopizia region, in the Donbass, in the currently occupied areas of the Kharkiv regions, and in the Crimea. The Ukraine president's comments seem as official in four Moscow-occupied region of the country, claim victory in the referendum, which have been condemned by Western leaders as sham ballots. The local poll body in the southern Zakopizia region said 93.1% of voters opt for Russian annexation after all ballots were counted, adding that this was a preliminary result. In Kyrgyzstan, also in the southeast, authorities said 87% of voters opt for Russian annexation after a vote count was completed. In eastern Ukraine, Lukan's reason, controlled by pro-Russian separatists, 98.4% opt for annexation by Russian. Russian news agencies said, citing local authorities, it is clear that Lukhans would return to the Russian fold. Leonid Pasechnik, the leader of self-proclaimed Lukhans People's Republic, said on Telegram. In the neighboring Donetsk region, the poll body said 99.2% of voters opt for Russian annexation after all ballots were counted, according to news agencies. The U.S. Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, said the West would never recognize Russia's annexation of Ukrainian territory, which he called part of a diabolical scheme by Moscow. NATO denounced the referendum as a sham and violation of international law. The United Nations said it was committed to Ukraine territorial integrity within recognized border. Earlier in an address to the UN Security Council, Zelensky warned that Ukraine would not be able to negotiate with Russia after the votes. Russia recognition of the Spadio referendum as normal implementation of the so-called Crimea scenario, and yet another attempt to annex Ukrainian territory, means that there is nothing to talk about, he said in a video message. In front of these eye of the whole world, Russia is conducting an outright phrase call referendum on the occupied territory of Ukraine, he said. People are forced to fill out some papers for TV pictures under the muzzle of machine gun. The figures of the alleged results of the Pasedo referendums were drawn into advance. President Vladimir Putin is scheduled to address both House of Russian Parliament on Friday and may use the address to formally announce accession into Russia of the Ukraine territory that held referendum, the British Ministry of Defense said in its latest intelligence update. Putin said on Tuesday that Russia wanted to save people in the territories. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.